Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to the channel today. We are talking about something a little different. Okay, no hair, no makeup, none of that business. We are talking about ways that I deal or I handle stress. Okay, which is really the title should be my peace and love journey or my peace and love routine. Okay, <laughs> that's what I'm gonna call it. My peace and love routine. I want everything that is in opposition of love to be overflowed with love. You understand what I mean? You know, the things that come in that oppose love, I, I want love, the love that I have to drown out all the things that are non-love, <laughs> all the negative things, you understand? So basically change perspective okay I'm changing my perspective on things it's not necessarily what someone else has to do but what I am doing to change my perspective and to promote a more calm mind um, and just my response to things to be more calm peaceful more loving less frustrated less stressed the things came up recently that was extremely stressful extremely that required tears and like you know but none of that happened because i have some help okay number one is spirituality number two holy basil and number three are these tonics y'all <laughs> these tonics right here these tonics let me tell y'all about it the stresscompany.com the name by itself the name by itself says it all okay the stresscompany.com they are not about that stress life at all. They want to eliminate stress. This one here is the one that caught my eye. I'm all, I'm all about having a calm mind and that's what this is called. It's calm Mind Daily Tonic. Just even saying that is like, uh, really? Really Calm Mind? Yes, Calm Mind Daily Tonic. Number two is the stress daily tonic now this is not a set you can buy these individually these are two fluid ounces 100 percent natural 100 percent natural okay i'm gonna tell you guys what's in these this is a stress daily tonic then i also have one for if you need instant relief this is called serenity now okay and it comes in a little spray bottle all right i've used all of these i've used all of these okay i'm telling you 20 minutes after i took this Man, uh, it was just, it was like, uh, and it's a hundred percent natural. So all you need to do, let me just show you what it looks like. Cause you know, I can sit here and just be like all day. Cause this stuff, you just take two to three dropper fulls of this. You put it in some water. I use a little bit of water cause I don't want to, you know, manipulate the potency at all. I want, you know, I want it to be strong. And now that I know what it tastes like, I can actually go ahead and just take it. Uh oh. <laughs> now that I know now that I know what it tastes like, I can actually go ahead and just take it straight and in, you know into my mouth and then just um, you know wash it down with some water after I take it. It tastes very herbally. It tastes you can taste the bitterness of the herbs, but it's not anything that's like unbearable. I don't mind herbal flavors. I don't I know what herbs taste like, so it doesn't bother me at all. Um, again, you can drop it in some in some water and dilute it a little bit, but not too much. Um, yeah, this Calm Mind Daily Tonic. So you can take it up to twice a day. You guys, if, if you're interested in learning about the ingredients, they have everything. Everything is on their site. Go to their website, you guys, because they are not playing games. They absolutely go into depth on what the herbs do, how they help you. I mean, their website is a lesson in itself, okay? So yeah, I find these very, very helpful. Very helpful for me, again, to each their own. Everyone may not, everyone may not be down, but those of you who are, who are interested, who may wanna read up a little more, and you know, I'll have all that information in the description box for you. Yeah, so meditation has opened my eyes in a way that, you know, I never even thought of. Never even thought of, and I'm so thankful for it. I'm so thankful for meditation. I mean, it really helps you to connect with God and spirit. 
I mean, you have to do it to understand what I mean by that. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's just a beautiful experience. And what I do is I spend at least 20 minutes in the morning um, meditating. You know, I try not to wait too long before I do it after I wake up. Um, so that means I have to wake up early before the house is alive to do it. And um, the only conflict I have was that with that is that I am an extreme night owl. I have to stay up super late. I fight sleep. I've been doing it since I was young, very young. I've just, you know, I'm a night owl. And then um, I want to wake up super early and meditate. And sometimes that doesn't always work. You understand? I need to get enough sleep. So, um, you know, because I need at least a couple of hours to be easy in the morning before I jump into some, you know, stressful situations. I just want to start the day off right in a calm mind. I want to let go of any of those thoughts, let them roll through, focus my breathing. And that's really important. Breath is so important. You don't realize how important breathing is. There have been times where I've been so stressed and not unknowingly stressed where I'm like, I'm forgetting to breathe. Like I literally stop and I'm like, dude, are you breathing? Are you breathing? Like I have to force myself to breathe. That's how, listen, it's that serious. Okay. Like I don't even know where it lives sometimes. I don't even know, but it's there. Okay. And, um, yes, I've suffered from uh, panic attacks a few times. I've gone to the, the hospital, to the emergency room thinking I was having a heart attack, dying. Yeah. That's what a panic attack, it just, you're dying. That's what it, that's how it affects you. You are about to die. Everything that is happening to you resembles an art, an, an, an art attack. And uh, I wish it was an art attack. No, it resembles a heart attack. So all these things are happening. And that's just the stress that, that builds up in you. And like, you know, you just carry it. So some of us just kind of carry it, you know, and maybe you are, you know, have a little bit of frustration. Maybe you uh, snap a little bit too much. You spaz a little too much over stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> it might manifest itself in different ways. You don't always have to be a crazy person walking around just being mean, you know, it can manifest in different ways. I'm not too far to the left or the right with it, you know, but stress and anxiety do affect me they do okay um especially especially when my spiritual life is not in order especially when i don't take time to have a healthy spiritual life okay you absolutely need that to have peace and love in your life you absolutely have to have a spiritual life i'm not going to get into religion and which one you choose i'm not even i'm not going to get into that you understand what i'm saying but spirituality is key okay spirituality is key so meditation number one for me has helped me tremendously that's what's happening with that now another thing i'm doing is i take these holy basil capsules all right these are 100 percent, 100 percent natural god made this you can drink it as a tea. It's called Tulsi, T-U-L-S-I. Tulsi tea or Tulsi is the herb, okay, um, in other languages. But holy basil is that, you know, is the spiffy name for it. And you can find this on Amazon. You can find it at GNC. I don't know if they sell it at GNC, but you might be able to find it at GNC. This brand has been the best brand that I've tried yet. And this is the holy basil force. Now, the potency of this is absolutely awesome, okay? And it's by New Chapter. I got this from Amazon. I think it was about 30 bucks, and you get 120 capsules in here. You take two of these in the morning, and it helps to promote um, calmness, and it helps you to have a positive response to stressful situations. It reduces the cortisol levels, which is the stress hormones, in our, especially in our body and women's bodies, okay? It helps you... It, that's the thing that makes your gut poke out that those cortisol levels that stress sometimes that stomach that belly has to do with the stress that you're carrying and that is real okay so the holy basil has been awesome in helping me to respond to things in a more peaceful calming manner so that's it you guys hopefully this helped you in some kind of way um i'm Glad I can share it with you and hopefully, you know, you can gain something from this. If not, do you know, if anybody's familiar with, if anybody's familiar with anything that I've stated, I would love to hear your opinions on it. If you meditate, if you are familiar with holy basil, 
okay let's talk about it if you are familiar with these tonics if you've heard of them before which i've never heard of them before but if you have let me know talk to me about it let me know if they work for you if you get them let me know if they work for you in the comments section below i want to know i want to know okay because really stress is very dangerous you guys stress is a killer we all know that so we really don't want to carry all that around and it's really not worth it when you really start paying attention it's 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 really just not worth it it's not worth it at all in the big scheme of life it's just so ah it really is just <laughs> worthless <laughs> so that's it you guys thank you guys so much for watching i will see you guys in the next video peace